I felt good, you know, of course I have a lot to work on. Uh, I, don't really, I don't really remember the third round. I think apparently I was in a, some sort of submissions or some shit, but you know, just another day, man. Everyone here is tough. You know, I, I felt like there's not much pressure on me anymore. There was pressure before to perform, you know, just to get here. You gotta look good when you're fighting all the locals. You can't even lose a round. If you lose a round, your stock goes down. Now I'm here, I'm fighting the guys who are the best in the world, so, you know, pressure's kind of off, you know. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lost to one of the guys who's the best in the world, so, you know, just another day out here. You got into some trouble, though. It, it looked like you hit a flurry of punches and then had you in a couple of different submission things and you worked your way out of it. I mean, does that uh, speak to the determination and grit you got? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm young and hungry. That's why I'm here, you know. he. He's been here before. He, you know, he's he, he knows what he knows where he's at in the sport. You know what I mean? He's had a couple ups and downs, but you know, for me, I'm hungry. That's why, you know, that's why I got out of those submissions. You know what I mean? I'm I'm, I'm hungry for the wins. I, I want to be here. I want to cement my my spot here. So. Yeah, of course. It's 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 nice to kind of. Uh, you know, to show everybody that I, I'm, I'm here, man, I'm game. You know, I've had three older brothers. They've beaten me down my whole life. I'm, I'm used to having to fight out of tough spots, you know. So, again, I don't really feel like any of the submissions were even close. I mean, it kind of looks like that on the outside, but I'm, 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 I don't feel nothing. I'm not banged up. Apparently, he hit me with a good shot, but, again, I, I don't, I, you know, it's nothing, man. It's nothing. I've taken bigger shots all the time, so. Kamora wasn't really close. It was just more for defending. But uh, man, I, that 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 choke was close. Man, I, I had him in that rear naked choke. He was gargling. You know, that was by far the closest submission of the night. He, I was a lot closer to finishing him than he was finishing me. Yeah, who gives a shit about six wins before? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's all about what you do in this octagon. Nobody gives a shit. You can be 13, 14, you could be 100 and 0. When you get to the UFC, you lose your first fight. Nobody cares if you were 100 and 0. You lost in the UFC, you're 0 and 1. So I'm 1 and 0 right now. When it, it seemed like there was a lot of interest coming from a lot of publications to fight Inaz as well. Yeah. Was that just an intent more or less? Uh, you know, uh, you know I, I should have been a little bit better with my range. You know, I'm, I, I usually am a lot better with my range, but he, he was just kind of pressing forward the whole time. and. Uh, I knew he was going to come out hot in the beginning and he was going to start fading. I could hear him breathing more and more as, as the rounds went on. I know he was kind of starting to fade. That was part of the game plan. We knew he was going to come out hard and that I would just kind of have to weather the storm and start picking it up in the second and the third. When and did you I find out you were going to be on the card and, and what's this opportunity mean for you? It means a lot of money. You know what I mean? That's all it means. You know, I'm getting older. You know, you, you know this sport sucks, man. Cutting weight, doing a bunch of shit you don't want to do. So I want to get paid accordingly, you know what I mean? It's one thing, you know, you're, you're, you're fighting for peanuts your whole life. You know, I, I mooch rides, I mooch food, I, I, my brothers have to give me clothes. You know what I mean? It, it's about time I want to be paid, you know what I mean? It, it's bullshit that, 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 you know, someone in the NBA who doesn't even t touch the court is getting 600 grand while I'm out here fighting my ass off and I'm getting 10. Quickly, just let me rephrase that. You know, I am super happy to be here, 100%. I am happy with getting paid now. I just mean, you know, it's a really, really tough sport. That's all I'm saying. You know, thank you for the opportunity. I'm very, very happy with the UFC. They've, th my first experiences here has been absolutely amazing. They've treated me great. Just want to throw that out there. I love the UFC, and I'm very proud to be here. So, sorry. Uh, it, you know, like I said before, man, I mean, it, it all depends on how you handle it. Um, a fight is a fight, you know, if you can kind of just embrace that it's going to be tough and you only live once, man, you know what I mean? The world's going to keep turning no matter what happens, if I win, if I lose. You know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm proud to be here. So uh, you, you just got to take it with stride, you know, so. I 
I'm 30 years old, you know what I mean? So I, I think I'm at where I'm at. I don't think I'm going to grow anymore, you know? So I've always cut to 35. Of course, it's always been, it's always been a little bit tough, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just, I'm going to stay here and uh, I'm going to stay at 35. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to just take kind of a minute here and kind of take a breather and, and we'll see. Um, I'll talk to my brother. I'll talk to my managers and, and we'll see where I'm at. So, uh, yeah, I, I just one more time. I got to thank the UFC. I, I can't appreciate it enough. I'm very proud to be here and I just want to keep performing. I want to, you know, keep kicking ass and, uh, hopefully get some win bonuses sometimes and see how it goes, man. So thank you guys all. I, I really do appreciate it. I do. You know, there are very, very good fighters in British Columbia, and I, I, they're, they're, they're coming up right now. You know what I mean? There's a lot of big names who are going to start uh, proving that they should be here, and I'm not going to be surprised to see a couple of my, my teammates and a couple of the other guys that I know very well uh, in, in the division. Uh, Tristan Connolly, he, this guy right here, I feel like he's going to deserve a shot pretty soon, man. The guy's a workhorse. I've never seen anybody work so hard, so... I won't be surprised if he signs next. How important is your brother in that 100%, man. If it wasn't for my brother, I wouldn't be here. 100%, I would not be here. We, we just kind of started off together. He didn't even know what he was doing, but I trusted everything he said. And I, I don't know why, but it, he sees things in the future, you know. Um, he's my manager. He's my brother. He's my coach. He's my mentor. He's, he, he, he's my umbrella, you know. He, he kind of guides everything. When I was first starting off in the sport, you know, like I said, he, I, I was more experienced than he was at the time, but I would listen to him no matter what he said. I would do it. He would phone each gym in the city. Hey, get ready. My brother's coming down. Get your best guys. Get them together. He's going to come and train with you guys. I'm from a little crappy town. I only had so many people I could train with. So he really uh, took charge in, in gathering all the troops for me to train with. And uh, I really can't thank my brother enough, man. If it, I would not be here if it wasn't for him. You talked about all your brothers toughening you up when you were younger. What were your brother's names and, and what kind of what was your childhood like? I, I had a great childhood, man. To be honest, I had a fantastic childhood. My my parents were great to me. Um, I, I have one brother, Brady Smith. He's two years older than me. I have another brother, Cody. He's ten years older than me. He kind of led the way with the sport. He he started training first, and he kind of got everybody else interested. And then my, my, my boss, my captain, my oldest brother, Casey Smith, he, he's the leader of the, of the group, so. Okay, thank you guys, man. I, thank you guys. Thank you guys.